The next Miss Universe Malaysia 2015 is presented to you by iPayEasy. I like struggle inside the water, you know, couldn't get up. Natural business, sorry. Natural, natural finish with zero shine all day. Natural finish with zero shine all day. I could feel Jack tensing up around me and I immediately freaked out. To be the next Miss Universe Malaysia, you cannot live in your own bubble. It's really sad that that is how you are getting me. Really? I don't think you want to be here. How would you know I don't want to be here? It's your attitude. This is what you're exuding to okay. everyone. Come on, Ida, I know you're not like this. Get out. In a competition like this, I realised that you need to be on your toes all the time because you can't just go with the flow. Ladies and gentlemen, your new Miss Universe Malaysia is none other than Sabrina Bennett! Congratulations! Which means Lalita Monisha, you are our first runner up. Congratulations to both of our finalists. And of course, congratulations to Sabrina Bennett. The role as National Director is to continue the vision that Miss Universe Malaysia organisation has put forth over the past few years. And that is really crucial because consistency is key here. And the brand Miss Universe Malaysia is prestigious here in Malaysia. Therefore, it's my duty to search and nurture the best possible Malaysian beauty as a representative of Malaysia in Miss Universe. This year's TV show, The Next Miss Universe Malaysia 2015, is definitely different from the previous years. We have made sure that this is not just a modeling competition, we're not just looking for a face. We are in search of a good personality, good attitude, and a winner's ability to take on the responsibility of Miss Universe Malaysia. And therefore, you will see that we allow the girls to go through a substantial amount of training, all 17 finalists will have the same chance before the first elimination. And throughout that period, we allow the public to also get to know the girls a lot more before the first elimination. All of them will have a fair chance of showing who they are, and I think that's what the show is about. So you have to look forward to the web episodes leading up to the TV show. Having gone through all of this just recently myself, I think that I can tell the girls that this is a life-changing experience. This opportunity does not come by easy, and it's a lot of hard work and a lot of initiative. And I think that the girls need to find 
find motivation within themselves so that this may bring them far. If the motivation is superficial, they will not go far and therefore I think they need to really discover themselves along through this journey and really make this the best possible journey they have. The person who's going to represent Malaysia has to really be strong, confident and very sure of herself. That I haven't seen yet. Out of all the girls, I haven't seen anyone who's really sure of themselves. Um, but I think that the way this competition is running, uh, is run, presents so many opportunities for them to show themselves and to learn about themselves, especially since they have to live in such close quarters with other girls. This is not a camp where everyone's just you know groomed into potential but you really have to work on it we are giving you the opportunity and the right challenges and to be honest this is a, this is like a simulation of what it is in the miss universe stage you're in you know with all the girls for a month and you put through all all sorts of trials and tests and you know see who breaks in miss universe malaysia you, you're being judged non-stop no matter where you are. You have to be a jack of all trades and you know you have to be a good model, be able to pre present yourself, be able to talk well and uh, just in general keep everything tidy. I'm looking for a Miss Universe Malaysia who can speak really well, can speak to everyone in a very engaging way. She should be someone who walks into a room and takes over and everyone turns around and looks at her and everyone wants to go to her and talk to her. I find it rather surprising that you enter a competition like this, which is major, it's not, you know, Miss Tea Time or, or Miss Sabah Bernal, it's like Miss Malaysia, and you haven't prepared yourself. You haven't looked in the mirror, you haven't practiced, you haven't read up on all the magazines or watched TV or whatever it is, you know, I mean, YouTube, Facebook, you know, so many opportunities and platforms now. And that you, I felt that these girls hadn't done that. But it's such a serious competition. Why? I feel like they're not taking it seriously. Some of the girls are not taking it seriously at all. If you're not up for it and you're not constantly showing how fierce and competitive you can be, you're out. This is a competition. You have your your learning curve has to go like that, really. You, you can't like you, she can't take her time and go up the way at her speed. Oh, the girls just really have to step up the game right now and, and be on every single second of the day, you know, be embody the beauty queen spirit. It has to be in them, inside out, every second of the day. It can't be something that's faked. So they really have to step up. If you were to ask me today, out of all the girls, if I could pick one, uh, nobody really jumps out at me. Some girls are not really, really stepping up to the game and really showing their full potential. It's just kind of laid back and it's really disappointing to me. There were some failures, lah, seriously, I must say. She's going to get kicked out if she doesn't buck up. That girl really needs a smack on the head. Unacceptable. The next Miss Universe Malaysia 2015 is presented to you by iPayEasy.